John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Racer Star Air F7 flight controller. This is the Air F7 Lite. And why is it light? Because it has omitted some of the um, components that you don't necessarily need for a digital build. A lot of us are switching over to digital this year, uh, particularly DJI. And so this is their version. It has an F7 processor on board and has an integrated spot so that you can mount your Crossfire receiver directly onto this thing, uh, making your build extra clean, extra fast. It has a couple of wiring harnesses right here. This one is gonna to be to our DJI Air Unit system right here. Now, if you're using a Vista system, you would just clip this off and solder those four wires directly on there. That way it eliminates half of the soldering because the flight controller side is already done for you. And then you have your harness right here that will go to your ESC. Now they've also, in conjunction with this, made a new um, Racer Star ESC. Now that is one that is gonna mate directly to the sky. I have a plug that goes straight into this flight controller. This flight controller, I've seen it on sale for as low as 17 bucks. A lot of times it's around 20 bucks. Now how do they get the price of this um, so low, especially since they're using an F7 flight controller? Well, they are still using an MPU 6000 gyro, which is the gyro that you want in your FPV craft. Uh, but what they're eliminating is certain things that are not needed on the digital side, like the OSD chip, the on-screen display chip that you use for your analog system is not needed for a DJI build. So they're eliminating that, reducing the price, passing the savings on to you. Um, now, I don't really recommend a lot of Racer Star products in general, but a lot of times they're electronic boards, particularly the Racer Star Anniversary ESC that usually runs for about 25 bucks and it is the most robust, almost unkillable ESC I've ever flown. And that is actually made by Airbot, which are really tried and true, um, very reputable ESC makers. So I want to know, does the flight controller and ESC that go together for this system have the same longevity, the same robustness, the same durability? And we're gonna be testing that out on the channel. So stay tuned for a video where I'm gonna have that combination together. I really like this option. It comes with a USB-C connector, so they are really looking to the future. If you're using a DJI build, you have USB-C on the Air Unit or the Vista or the Nebula. And so now you only need one connector to be able to talk to all of your different pieces of hardware. I like that this is a DJI only board and the price has gone down. You realize that new ESC that comes with this or that goes with this is only gonna cost about 20 to 25 bucks. This I've seen 16, you know, 17, 18, 19 bucks. So you can have a truly next generation digital stat for about $40. Is it gonna hold up? Stay tuned guys. I'm gonna do a follow up with a build on this, but I wanted to get the news to you that this is available. $40 stack, is it really gonna hold up? I mean, honestly, even if that ESC doesn't work that well, I can always use the anniversary edition made by Airbot. I'm gonna to try to find out who this new ESC is made by. If it's made by Airbot, man, game over. Cheap flights all day long. Thanks guys.